Good evening, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. It is Sunday evening, hallelujah. Oh, we praise the Lord and we glorify your Father. Thank you, Lord, for tonight. Thank you, Lord, that you are with us, in us, through us. Thank you, Father God, that in you nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. You are so, so good, Lord. You are so awesome. You are so wonderful. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we need you, Lord. We need you tonight. As you are about to read your word, Lord, help us to understand, oh God. Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation, oh Father God, in the knowledge of you, O Lord, as we will be continue on reading God's word tonight hallelujah oh god you're so so good lord you're so awesome you're so wonderful father god lord thank you that you are healing me oh god and uh, getting stronger thank you father god for this cup of the new covenant for the forgiveness of our sins lord thank you lord for the lord's supper hallelujah Father God, as we are partaking the bread and the cup, as my beloved and I, as so is our beloved family, relatives, and friends, Lord, at this moment I am taking by myself, but Lord, also I want to represent our loved ones, Lord Jesus, oh God, my beloved and I, and so is our loved ones, Lord. As we partake the bread and the cup, Father, we remember you. We do this in remembrance of you, O oh Father God, of what you did on the cross for us, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you have said here that the Lord is saying, Hallelujah, it says here that, But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Thank you, Lord. I am claiming this in the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 53 verse 5, that by Jesus' stripes I am healed. Healed from COVID. I no longer this need this medications, Lord, because I am healed. Amen? Amen. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Father God, as we, part as we thank you, Lord, take, partake the cup of the new covenant lord jesus oh god and you also say lord that this cup is a new covenant in my blood this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me thank you father for your forgiveness of our sins lord oh jesus amen hallelujah father god lord thank you lord for this anointing oil Anoint me and my beloved and I. And so is our loved ones, Lord Jesus, oh God. From the top of our head to the sole of our feet. Anoint every part of our body. For our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Beautiful inside out. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Anoint my lips. <laughs> anoint, Lord Jesus, our lips, our head, our toes, our mouths. Every part of our body. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Anoint us, Lord. Oh, we welcome you, precious Holy Spirit. The greatest power in the world today is the precious Holy Spirit. His love is boundless. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, the name above all names. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, oh God. Hallelujah. You are the first and the last, the beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. Yes, Father. Oh, we glorify you, oh God. Yes, Lord. He was the first. Oh, yes. He was the last. Hallelujah. He was dead, but he came to life. Yes, Lord. You came to life and you are alive forevermore. He knows our works. Yes, Lord. Let's be in faithful, hallelujah. He knows our poverty, we should endure, hallelujah, yes, Lord. He knows.
us our tribulation we should not fear for no servant is greater than his master yes lord no servant is greater than his master you was an ear let him hear hallelujah you was an ear let him hear what the spirit says to the churches yes lord he who overcome receive eternal life yes lord and he who is faithful receive the crown of life oh yes father god as we are faithful to you lord yes we will receive the crown of life the crown of rejoicing the incorruptible crown is the crown of glory hallelujah hallelujah oh we magnify you lord and we glorify you oh god thank you lord jesus we welcome you lord in our midst right now thank you lord for your promised words to us that says all things are possible thank you lord i will give you rest i love you i will direct your steps you can do all things I am able. I forgive you. I will supply all your needs. I have not given you a spirit of fear. Cast all your cares on me. I give you wisdom. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We claim all your promised words to us. In Jesus' mighty name. In the name of our names we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, that you love us with an everlasting love. Amen. Amen. Kamangamahal. Let's continue on now reading God's word in the book of Hallelujah. We are going to read the book of Samuel. First Samuel chapter 11. Father, as we read your word, help us to understand, Lord. Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your Father as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Saul defeats the Ammonites. About a month later, King Nahash of Ammon led his army against the Israelite town of Jabesh Gilead. But all the citizens of Jabesh asked for peace. Make a treaty with us, and we will be your servants, they pleaded. All right, Nash said, but only one condition. I will gorge out the right eye of every one of you as a disgrace to all Israel. Give us seven days to send messengers throughout Israel, replied the elders of Jabesh. If no one comes to save us, we will agree to your terms. When the messengers came to Gibeah of Saul and told the people about their plight, everyone broke into tears. Saul had been plowing a field with his oxen, and when he turned to town, he asked, What's the matter? What's the matter? Why is everyone crying? So they told him about the message from Jabez. Then the Spirit of God came powerfully upon Saul, and he became very angry. He took dogs in and cut them into pieces and sent the messengers to carry them throughout Israel with this message. This is what will happen to the oxen of anyone who refuses to follow Saul and Samuel into battle. And the Lord made the people afraid of Saul's anger, and all of them came out together as one. When Saul mobilized them at Bezik, he found that there were 300,000 men from Israel and 30,000 men from Judah. So Saul sent the messengers back to Jabesh Gilead to say, We will rescue you by noon time tomorrow. There was a great joy throughout the town when the message arrived. The men of Jabesh then told their enemies, Tomorrow, we will come out to you, and you can do to us whatever you wish. But before dawn the next morning, Saul arrived. Having divided his army into three detachments, he launched a surprise attack against the Ammonites and slaughtered them the whole morning. 
the remnants of the army were so badly scattered that no two of them were left together. Then the people exclaimed to Samuel, Now, where are those men who said, Why should Saul rule over us? Bring them here, and we will kill them. But Saul replied, No one will execute no one will be executed today, for today the Lord has rescued Israel. Then Samuel said to the people, Come, let us all go to Gilgal to renew the kingdom. So they all went to Gilgal, and in a solemn ceremony before the Lord they made Saul king. Then they offered peace offering to the Lord and Saul and all the Israelites were filled with joy. Chapter 12 of 1 Samuel Samuel's Farewell Address Then Samuel addressed all Israel, I have done as you asked and given you a king. Your king is now your leader. I stand here before you, an old gray-haired man, and my sons serve you. I have served as your leader for the time I was a since I was I have served as your leader from the time I was a boy to this very day. Now testify against me in the presence of the Lord and before his anointed one. Whose ox or donkey have I stolen? Have I ever cheated any of you? Have I ever oppressed you? Have I ever taken a bribe? and perverted justice? Tell me, and I will make right whatever I have done wrong. No, they replied, you have never cheated or oppressed, uh, oppressed us, and you have never taken even a single bribe. The Lord and his anointed one are my witnesses today, Samuel declared, that my hands are clean. Yes, he is a witness, they replied. It was the Lord who appointed Moses and Aaron, Samuel continued. He brought your ancestors out of the land of Egypt. Now hand her quietly before the Lord, as I remind you of all the great things the Lord has done for you and your ancestors. When the Israelites were in Egypt and cried out to the Lord, he sent Moses and Aaron to rescue them from Egypt and to bring them into this land. But the people soon forgot that the Lord their God, so he handed them over to Zizera, the, command, the commander of Israel's army, and also to Philistines, Philistines and to the king of Moab, who fought against them. Then they cried to the Lord again and uh, confessed, we have sinned by turning away from the Lord and worshipping the images of Baal and Ashtoreth. But we will worship you and you alone if you will rescue us from our enemies. Then the Lord sent Gideon, Bedan, Japhtah, and Samuel to save you, and you lived in safety. But when you were afraid of Nahash, the king of Ammon, you came to me and said that you wanted a king to reign over you, even though the Lord your God was already your king. All right, here is the king you have chosen. You ask for him, and the Lord has granted your request. Now, if you fear and worship the Lord and listen to his voice, and if you do not rebel against the Lord's commands, then both you and your king will show that you recognize the Lord as your God. But if you rebel against the Lord's commands and refuses and refuse to listen to him, then his hand will be as heavy upon you as it was upon your ancestors. Now stand here and see the great thing the Lord is about to do. You know that it does not rain at this time for the year during the wheat harvest? I will ask the Lord to send thunder and rain today. Then you will realize how wicked you have been in asking the Lord for king. So Samuel called to the Lord, and the Lord sent thunder and rain that day, and all the people 
and all the people were terrified of the Lord and of Samuel. Pray to the Lord for your God for us, or we will die. They all said to Samuel, For now we have added to our sins by asking for a king. Don't be afraid, Samuel reassured them. You have certainly done wrong. You have certainly done wrong. But make sure that you worship the Lord with all your hearts and don't turn your back on Him. Don't go back to worshiping worthless idols and that cannot help or rescue you. They are too, totally useless. The Lord will not abandon His people because that would dishonor His great name. For if, for it has pleased the Lord to make you His very own. As for me, I will certainly not sin against the Lord by ending my prayers for you. And I will continue to teach you what is good and right. Be sure to fear the Lord and faithfully serve Him. Think of all the wonderful things He has done for you. But if you continue to sin, you and your king will be swept away. Mm. Wow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for your word today. Help us, Lord Jesus, O oh God, to understand more as we will be continue on uh, meditating and uh, what's the message for us here for you Lord oh God help us precious Holy Spirit teach us and help us to worship you alone and not worship any idols God you are so good that you still give them as they ask for a king you give them a king and they will may they continue like may we all be continue Lord now our king is Jesus hallelujah reign forevermore and Father God, may we continue to obey the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, as the precious Holy Spirit also is continuously be speaking to us. Hallelujah, who, is, who leads us into all things. Father God, Lord, um, thank you, Lord, for your word for us today. Father God, Lord, for any one of us who did not know the Lord Jesus yet, as we pray this prayer, Lord, you will come into our hearts. Lord Jesus, we need you. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. We open our door of our 